everyone. Hope you had a good week. This week's story is about Saul, who later became Paul. I know some of you may have heard this story, but this story is very important. It is a story that teaches us how we can change from being one way in our life to completely to another, of changing our mind and our heart for God. Um, this story starts out right after Jesus had died on the cross and he was buried in a tomb and stayed in the tomb for three days and then God raised Jesus to life to live forevermore and then Jesus rose up into heaven to sit at the right hand side of his father God in heaven and this is where our story begins right after Jesus had rose into heaven there was a man named Saul who was out to get the Christians he just did not believe in this Jesus he did not believe that there was even a, a son of God and he thought it was just all wrong a big lie and he was out with his friends and his supporters to kill the Christians, to arrest them, and to bring them before the religious leaders. And so he was the one that was responsible, among others, to have killed one of Jesus' disciples, Stephen. But then they went on to kill even more. And he would point them out, of course, and hold the coats of those people who did the killing. And so now Saul had got some papers from the religious leaders and he was on his way to Damascus to arrest Christians and bring them back obviously to probably be killed. So he was on his way to Damascus And along with his followers who went with him, they had a mission. They were on a mission to arrest Christians and kill them. Well, along the way, Jesus up in heaven decided he was going to change Paul. He was going to get his attention. He flashed a light around Saul. Much like when a camera flashes and it's so bright, it kind of blinds you, or when you look at the sun, all of a sudden you have to look away and it, it blinds you for a little bit. Jesus had sent a bright light and flashed it around Saul, and it suddenly struck him, his eyes, and he fell to the ground. It hurt his eyes. He fell to the ground and he heard a voice and it was Jesus speaking to him and his followers even heard the voice, although they couldn't see anything. And as he fell to the ground, he, he asked, who are you? Or when the voice said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And Saul said, who are you? And he said, I am Jesus of Nazareth, the one that you do not believe in, the one that you have been persecuting my followers. And so Saul must have been very terrified and afraid, knowing he had made a huge mistake, that Jesus really was real and is the Son of God. And here he had a life-changing moment. But he was not given his sight back. He was blinded, and he had to have help from his friends. All the way into Damascus and so he being blinded he couldn't see it a thing had to be helped all the way when he got into Damascus he went into a room and stayed there for three days inside his home he had a vision that someone was going to come and help him. A vision of a man that was going to come and lay his hands on his eyes and with the power of Jesus giving his sight back. So he waited. He did not eat anything nor 
nor did he drink for three days, waiting for this man to come. Meanwhile, Jesus speaks to Ananias in another house in the city, and Ananias is worried. When Jesus tells him he needs to go find, go to the house of Tarsus and find the Saul, Ananias was afraid, thinking, well, Jesus, he's the one that's come with papers to arrest the Christians to take them back to the religious leaders to be killed. How will I know he's going to kill me too? But Jesus said, don't worry. He has seen a vision of you coming. He will know you have come in my name and that you're going to help him. And so out of obedience, Ananias went to the house of Tarsus and asked for Saul. He came there and immediately he laid his hands on Saul and he called him brother. He said, brother, Saul, I have come in the name of Jesus to lay my hands on your eyes so that you may see and you are to go forth and be a follower of Christ. And just as soon as Ananias laid his hands on his eyes and prayed, the Bible says that scales came off his eyes and he was able to see again. Much to the happiness of Paul or Saul, now he knew his new life mission was to be a Christian, a follower of Jesus and of God, and to do the work that a Christian should do. He was immediately baptized where he was dipped in water and put as a or name as a Christian. He proclaimed himself as a Christian and when he came up out of the water, he was cleansed of his sins and he was now a new Christian. And so after being baptized, Paul went on to do the work of God. He went around the whole city of Damascus preaching and teaching instead of handing out papers to arrest the Christians now he was proclaiming Jesus and we will end there this week except for I do want you to realize that no matter how bad or how wrong or even how long we have not been a Christian we can change our hearts and minds make a right decision to follow Jesus it is never too late once you make that decision, stick to it no matter how hard life pulls at you or pulls you down or you're made fun of or discouraged in any way. Know that Jesus and God are looking over you and are very proud of you and want you to continue with the work of being Christian and telling others about the Lord and bringing them into church and teaching them, showing them the way. For we all know that we are all children of God and he doesn't want any of us to perish. He wants everyone to come to him, even killers like Saul. He wanted to change him and make him a wonderful Christian after that. And he certainly was one of the best Christians. So with that in mind, I hope that you will make a conscious decision to serve the Lord, it's never too late. You're never too young or too old. Never can do too much or be too far gone. God has a way of bringing you back, cleansing you, making you clean, and you become a follower of his. Thank you so much. Have a good week.